Hello. Were you ever wondering how to review log data and even check into reports of past days? I can, as my devices are cloud managed, I hear you say. You are absolutely right, but what about if you have a locally managed device? Do you know that you can connect these to WatchGuard Cloud? Let me show you how quick and easy that is and what other advantages you have then too. Let us log into WatchGuard Cloud. From the dashboard, we go to Configure and then Devices. You can add all activated devices to WatchGuard Cloud. If you are using a service provider account, you need to allocate the device to an according subscriber account before you can add it. Details are available in the WatchGuard Help Center. Search for Allocate Devices. We can already see a connected cloud managed device, but we want to add a locally managed device. You will most possibly see more devices on your account than in my example. Click on either the device's name or the icon on the far right and confirm with Add Device. Select Local Management from the Management drop down list and click Next. In this example, using a Firebox V, we need to copy the code to later use this verification code in the Fireware Policy Manager or Fireware Web UI for this device. Yet you will not see this step when you add a Firebox that has a TPM chip. Click Done and the device will be listed as not connected. Next step is to connect to the Firebox with a Fireware Policy Manager or the Firebox's Fireware Web UI. If you use the Fireware Policy Manager, Click on Setup, then WatchGuard Cloud to enable WatchGuard Cloud. Click on OK and save the configuration to your Firebox. Again, you will be prompted to enter the verification code if necessary, like in this case for Firebox V. Confirm the code with OK. If you use the Fireware Web UI, just click on System, then WatchGuard Cloud to enable WatchGuard Cloud. Enter the verification code if prompted to do so. When done, click Save. That is it. Yes, that is really all you need to do. Let us head back to WatchGuard Cloud as the device should already be connected and if not, just give it a little time to do so. Back again from where we earlier left off, we can see the device is now connected. Along being able to reboot the device, you also have the option to upgrade the device from here too and even schedule the upgrade. Yes, you have heard right, schedule it, something you do not have in Policy Manager or Web UI. The device can also send data to ThreatSync and receive actions from ThreatSync too. Under Monitor and then Devices, you can review the device summary, so general information, license details and other statistics for the selected period. Under Life Status, you can monitor the life status and usage of the Firebox with cloud reporting and run diagnostic tasks which you are possibly familiar with using the Firebox System Manager and Fireware Web UI. Under Logs, you have the option to use Log Manager to view logs that the Firebox sends to WatchGuard Cloud and Log Search to run simple and even complex queries. Furthermore, WatchGuard Cloud includes predefined reports that are automatically generated from the log message data from your connected Fireboxes. Yet please keep in mind, the available reports for each device depend on the log message data that the device has sent to WatchGuard Cloud. If the device has not sent the data required for a report to WatchGuard Cloud, the report does not appear in the list of reports on the monitor page. How long log and report data is available depends on how the device is licensed, like seen here. Please excuse for time reasons not going through each individual one, but whenever you need more information for the area you're looking at, click on the help icon with a question mark and this will lead you directly to the area of interest in the WatchGuard Help Center. You might have heard or even seen WatchGuard Dimension already that provides you similar capabilities but is a local and virtual log and report server that you first need to set up in your environment of course. Details are available in the WatchGuard Help Center. Search for Get Started with WatchGuard Dimension. In the guide, you will also find the information how to add your local Firebox to Dimension and this is even when the Firebox is already connected to WatchGuard Cloud. Yes, you can have a device simultaneously logged to WatchGuard Cloud and Dimension, so also a Cloud Managed device in summary, you now know that not only cloud managed devices are able to send data to WatchGuard Cloud for you to review log and report data, but also you can connect any locally managed device to WatchGuard Cloud too, which include additional basic administrative features like scheduled upgrades. 
you can have both locally and cloud managed devices simultaneously send log data to WatchGuard Cloud and Dimension. Go and check it out.